working with startups. I mean, I, did, I just started this for fun. And for like four and a half years, we just, I just did it for fun. So, and it's been getting more and more fun <laughs> so, and bigger. So I would like now to put the spotlight on our first startup and have them come up on stage and make the presentation. Who's that lucky one? OK, Fat. <laughs> great. Great to have you here. Knock them dead. <laughs> The U.S. roadside assistance industry is a $6 billion market. There are over 100 million roadside calls per year by stranded motorists. 34 million Americans don't have roadside assistance. And not too long ago, I was actually stranded on the side of the road with a flat tire. I used my dad's AAA to call for help, and they gave me an estimated wait time of over an hour. So. Here I was, not knowing when help was coming. So I was thinking to myself, why can't I just take out my phone, hit a button, and have help come to me instantly? So hi, my name is Fat Lee. I'm the 20-year-old co-founder of Lifeboat, and we make an app for roadside assistance. The benefit to the customer is not only are we solving long waits, uncertainty, and those dreaded membership fees, but we're also showing you where your service is coming from and we're connecting you with people instantly. Now, not only are we different from our competition like AAA and all those other insurance companies by connecting you with towing companies, but we also connect you with freelancers like you and I who can actually offer services on the side of the road for being a good Samaritan. So come and join me and help me Build Lifeboat to be the next Uber of roadside assistance and to disrupt an industry that's over a hundred years old. Thank you. Yeah. Fantastic. Speak up, speak loudly so the people way in back can hear you. And let's take it away. Hi, my name is William. I'm the co-founder of Tap Car Pay. There's a huge problem on the payment industry right now where when you're shopping online, people drop off. This is actually a four trillion dollar problem worldwide every year. And this actually translates to 67% of sales loss due to people they're, when they're shopping and they drop off when they're ready to pay. And we have a very unique solution unlike anything you've ever seen before. And this is how we do it. So normally when you go shop at on a smartphone onto whatever website, let's say Target or Walmart or whatever. You pick up your jeans, you pick up your jackets. When you're ready to pay, you have to enter in a credit card information, 16 digit, name, expiry, address, all that stuff. It's hard. Especially when you have fat fingers, small screen, it's almost impossible. So what we do is we take standard NFC credit cards, very popular in Europe, Asia, Australia, even Canada. And we just take this card, tap it on the back of the phone, and all the information with the 16-digit card number, expiry, name, everything gets filled up automatically. So to recap, it makes it very fast, easy, and even more secure. Take a card, tap on the back of the phone, everything is done. So far, and on what we have done, we have completed a working prototype on the Android platform. And during the time that we've spent in founder space here, we have um, been getting in talks with Google Wallet and Expedia as clients. And also, we have, <coughs> sorry, we have also been in talks with the PCI authority who regulates all the credit card transactions. And we are getting uh, very good interest from the top of the board and the committee members, where uh, there's a representative from Visa and Global Payments in Europe. And they are interested in joining our advisory board. And just what happens today, we have met a, uh, an angel investor locally from BayPay Forum, and his name is Joe, he's right there in the audience, over there, <laughs> and um, so, sorry. But yeah, we have an uh, angel investor looking to syndicate, and thank you very much for your time. Oh, congratulations, you got a syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, um, let's go. Hello, panelists, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Julia, I'm from South Korea, and I'm the I'm from a company called Soso Agency. We have started our business because there's a huge problem in Korea regarding to the schools like 
there's the harsh like, force to the students and they get a lot of stress and that is why we started the business. Let me tell you the market. In USA, there is six billion, uh, six million children suffering from ADHD and the treatment market is approximately eight billion. So our device can replace drugs, which drugs gives a lot of side effects. And we already have underwent the test such as ADHD and dementia, clinical tests, and also the pilot testing. So, let me introduce our device. So, this is a wearable brain device, brainwave device for uh, analyzing the brainwaves. And we also have developed application, which can give signals, and also it shows the real-time data, such as concentration and relaxation. It helps the children to lower down their stress and increase their concentration. We have already sold in Korea for 100 units and also in Japan we have sold more than 300 units. We have ties with Shida Child Academy which is the top most company in Japan and also we are registered in e-procurement system in Korea. So I know that we all know that US market is much bigger. So we want to move into USA, make a market and start our business with strategic partners. And we have uh, ties with uh, George Mason University and we have five advisors in Korea who is professionals of brain computer interface technology. So thank you and we are looking for $2 million to go to the market. Fantastic. Let's hear it for uh, Vincent from Paris, France and today I'm going to talk to you about tools for social media. I'm going to tell you how our tool is different from the competition and why our 20 customers that brought us 30,000 in sales, uh, why they like it. So there is a lot of tools on, on the market as they have all the features that you want for the posting on social media, on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and, and Google Plus for listening, uh, for finding contacts. There is a lot of tools, <coughs> that's fine. There is uh, one common point uh, between all those tools that do not have a database. So basically, the marketing people, they spend time, they spend money on those tools and they don't even have their data. They cannot grow their community. So our product is a, a unique, uh, it's a, a database that is connected to the API of Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Google Plus so they can organize their contacts and their data in a unique tool that has all the features for, for the posting, for finding contacts, uh, for uh, um, for the events, the, uh, uh, for pretty much e everything, and uh, we are a team of three. We are based in Paris, and uh, we uh, we are looking at 500 uh, k to accelerate. Uh, we want to reach 600 customers, and uh, we are looking to, to to come to the U.S. market that is uh, much bigger. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. personal problem that really frustrated you? Have you ever made a mistake that you are still regretting? My name is Anna and I'm here to tell you about SciClue as a psychological clue. It's a web browser based application and it works on subscription. The way it works is rather simple. The user types in the problem. The application highlights the words that are disallowed and forces user to rephrase the problem in such a way that the solution finally becomes obvious. There is no mystery. The key words that are disallowed are such that stop time, preclude development, um, mess you up some other way. Similar apps do exist, but they do not have this know-how. The know-how has been developed by social psychologists who started thinking about it 30 years ago. He is Yale-trained man. Would you not think that there is a ready market for this app? Parents of teenagers, I'm one. Uh, students struggling in school. Couples in distress. We do not want people to go through life harming others, 
who are harming themselves. This app will eliminate the negative thinking and will help people think positively so they can live healthy, happy, and productive life. Thank you. Great, thank you. Uh, hi, my name is uh, Francis. I'm from South Korea. Uh, my company name is Space Ricker. Okay. Uh, here, uh, you can see the building model, right? Uh, because our business is related to the building and people. So, um, yeah. We provide an app uh, that allows people to get coupon and the directions and other service inside the building. Uh, uh, our, our system works with uh, any, any building in any, anywhere. Uh, uh, here is how we live. Uh, okay. Please uh, look into uh, the building. Uh, you can see at the sign, right? And there are evacuation map. It's a uh, basic possibility of uh, a building. Every building is required by law uh, to have an uh, evacuation map. We converted this map uh, to understand the structure of a building easily. And also, uh, the, it, every building is uh, required by law uh, to have an X sign on all X door. Uh, we, okay, yeah, uh, we add a beacon uh, to every X sign to communicate with our app, mobile app. Using this data, uh, we can provide a coupon and uh, uh, directions and other advanced service inside the building. Uh, the global market size will be uh, six billion US dollar uh, by 2017. Our solution is very unique because uh, we can provide this kind of solution to add, uh, sorry any building in any country. Uh, we are setting up a new company in the United States to offer this service uh, to uh, people worldwide. Mm, I'd like to emphasize uh, there are so many companies, uh, big ones and uh, you know, uh, inside building a service. But our target is to make one of one and uh, uh, provide one service to people. Thanks. Thank you. Let's hear it. Go back here and answer questions. Hi, everyone. How many people here uh, ever work with enterprise, any enterprise software? Quite exhausting sometimes. Uh, my name is David. Uh, I founder of OneSoft. Not Microsoft. We are not Microsoft. No, not yet. Uh, OneSoft is a is a enterprise level software uh, for mostly for small and medium companies, uh, uh, combines uh, simplicity of spreadsheets and power of full-sized enterprise solutions like SAP and uh, similar things. We already have a, a traction. We have a, a users and customers like a Deloitte, a Mercedes Benz, uh, or, um, uh, or uh, a lot of government agencies. Uh, we do have more than 30 clients, and uh, we do have a, a, a revenue over $100,000 uh, per year, last year. Uh, people, use, uh, people, use, uh, people are always struggling with, uh, with the overcomplicated systems, and uh, then landing into, into spreadsheets, which, is, which generates a lot of other problems. And they, uh, again, Trying to trying to land in a, in a large systems, so, so solutions like SAP are overcomplicated. So not with OneSoft, our users can can adjust a whole system within a minute, and uh, we we use a SaaS model. Uh, we started at thirty dollars and up to thousands of dollars. It depends on the customization, so we can customize it. Uh, for, for our clients. So we are type of Lego in the world of enterprise applications. Thank you. Fantastic. Let's hear it. Hi. I'm Arvind. I'm a serial entrepreneur. Speak this, up. Speak up. Hi. 
Hi, I'm Arvin. I'm a serial entrepreneur. I've done five startups, and th this is my fifth startup, sorry, and uh, my most ambitious one. Uh, we already have uh, sales, seen sales traction in what I'm going to share with you. We did hundred thousand uh, dollars, and we had four hundred customers in this business. It was a party marketplace run by my wife for about a year, and we stopped it because we couldn't scale. We said we had to automate the whole process. It was uh, online acquisition and physical delivery, which didn't work. So we, had, we said we, we must fully automate it. Now let me share something about the market uh, with you. The Indian market for a party marketplace is, uh, uh, is, a, is basically a very underspent $14 billion. And the corresponding market in the US for this you know, is, a, is a mature market is about $9 billion. Now, anybody who does, has ever created a party knows what a pain it is. It takes time. Uh, it can take two days. It can take a week. And suppose you have, uh, and any party has three steps to do. You have to get a venue, you have to get the catering, and you have to get uh, entertainment and uh, decoration services. Now, you may find all of them online, but they're in separate silos. So, you have to search compare, evaluate, book, and then manage all these moving pieces together. And God help you if they're not online. And that's the state of art in India. You have to do everything physically. So you lose at least a week building a party. And Indians are very social. They do at least 10 parties a year. Four birthdays, one wedding anniversary, and at least five religious or festive occasions which have to be done. So it's a huge market. And now do you see the need? What would you do to have a one-stop shop, one place where you can do one click and book a party? That's what we are. We are a party marketplace. We are the kayak of party and event planning. We are MakeThisParty.com, the party marketplace. Great. <laughs> That's the Usha Kekara, the founder of uh, InChefs.com and YoungCoats.com. Uh, InChefs.com is a marketplace for food by local chefs. And Young Quotes is food plus other event services. It's yet another event company. <laughs> okay, so uh, youngquotes.com. Uh, with youngquotes.com, you can imagine personalized uh, lunches at work. You can imagine catered events, holiday parties without breaking a sweat. The problem we're trying to solve is uh, events, as you know, uh, are overwhelming. It requires a lot of time, it requires a lot of energy, it requires a lot of money. So uh, our solution is Young Post. You place your request for food, uh, venue, photography, whatever, all the services. Uh, the service providers come back to you with quotes. You pick a sample package and quote that you like. Um, so uh, yeah, so uh, the, the market's been uh, validated by about uh, 300 uh, users on our platform and $8,000 worth of transactions. Uh, 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 the market size is about $500 billion. Uh, we have uh, 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 for events and $66 billion for catering. Our business model is really simple. We take 15% of every transaction from a service provider. Um, our customer acquisition is typically through social media, but we are trying to add machine, le machine learning on social media to add leads. Um, and uh, our team has a uh, uh, software architect, uh, includes a social media marketing person, uh, nutritionist. Uh, competition right now in this space over here is Honeybook, and I just recently learned uh, Make Pay Party. Yeah. So uh, we are, our ask is 500k and partnerships. Uh, so we, we're trying to partner with uh, some event-focused companies for users. So we need connections to event-focused companies. Okay, great. Hi, everybody. I'm uh, J.D. Lask. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Agile Travel Group. We're a T Delaware uh, C Corp doing business as Cruisable. Uh, we're about a year old. Um, we're a startup with one single focus, to make it really super easy for people to find and book great cruise vacations. Okay. Um, we're uh, building a website and a mobile uh, native app uh, that combine great uh, search and filtering technology with great travel journalism and also thousands and thousands of really amazing photographs uh, of 
of cruises and travel destinations around the world. So this is what our app is uh, looking like. Lots of really, really cool photographs. <clears throat> um, we have um, some really cool advisors, including Steve Hoffman, uh, Don Dodge of Google Ventures, and one of our investors in the, is in the back of the room, the founder of Coder Space, uh, Coder's Mill, sorry. Um, so um, we are now, um, well, let me, let me tell you how travel booking works now, if you want to go on a cruise today. If you want to go on a cruise today, you have to sort of uh, step into the Wayback Machine, open up the door, um, uh, set the dial for 2000, uh, well, let's go back even further, 1993. Um, uh, step out, and you have to find it. Uh, you have to find a travel agent. Uh, you have to talk to them on the phone for about an hour to explain what kind of cruise you're looking for, and then wait for a couple of days for them to send you a paper brochure in the mail. Um, and then you have to look look through it. You know, it's really hard to search. You know, I don't know what this paper stuff is, but this is how this is how it's done. Or else, you have to go to one of these sites like uh, cruise.com or cruises.com or only cruises. They're really painful experiences if anyone's ever tried to use any of these uh, online tools. Um, they make you go through like eight, eight pages of drop down menus. Um, so we're, we're putting all that to the side and we're, we're saying, you know, come into this new digital world. So we're working with, we have deals in place with uh, 30 of the top cruise lines in the world covering 95% of the marketplace already. They're helping us. Uh, we're working with them to sort of bring this $38 billion cruise sector into the digital, mobile, and social age. Greyhadvy.com, we are a one-stop shop for existing and aspiring entrepreneurs from e-learning to exit. And first of all, I want to apologize. I'm uh, suffering from bronchitis, so I'm kind of dragging myself, <laughs> dragging myself across the finish line here. So I'm going to keep this super short and then leave, leave as much time as possible for questions. So. We have a, a great world-class team. Um, we have a very unique, long-term, multi-channel monetization plan. Um, and we, we're gonna focus on institutional customers, starting with military veterans, and then we have a couple of others lined up right behind that. So, we've already got some content completed. We're testing it online, it's generating revenue. And uh, we're looking for $1.3 million, which will get us through our beta, our full launch and give us enough runway to get uh, cash flow positive. So with that, I'll open it up to questions. Okay, great. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sulem from Cosmo. This is our CEO, Kim Sohun. And I'll be representing uh, Cosmo. All, we are all the way from Korea to here to learn and then share our really interesting product with you guys. Sorry, with you. Um, so the name is a, uh, Palm Note. Palm Note we are, is a developing application for smart device. We are partnership with Samsung in Korea, and then our product 2012 February we our last product um, preloaded in Samsung. We are very proud of that. And so what what a Palm Note does is that uh, Palm Note does much more than Evernote does. So we we are aiming for different group type of group of uh, different type of guest uh, customers, but especially like a businessman. So what we can do is here, we can um, make different type of notes and then we can capture content from website or social network. And then we can also monitor currency rates and then check zip codes. And then you, mostly we can import subway maps and then we can do much more. So um, in conjunction with social media like Facebook or Twitter, we, are, uh, we can provide tools to help uh, customers to use their uh, spend their time more wisely, and in uh, Palm Note will be uh, launching next year January, and then we are aiming to um, sell it in four dollar in China as of two dollar, and Palm Note will enable users to use their time wisely, and we have really strong hope in that. Um, I will save this time for the question. Great. If you have any question, yeah. I'm Chris Burnett, I'm with Game of Drones and Ballistics UAV co-founder. Uh, what I have here is a drone. And do you mind holding that? So yeah, don't turn it on. Speak up, Douglas. No, I, I, did, I did not bring a uh, controller, so this will not fly today. So, um, but, but his co-founder did bring yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Don't hold it too close. Uh, can you guys all hear me? If I don't, use a mic. Use a mic. He says use a mic. Okay. Um, 
Game of Drones and Ballistics UAV, uh, this started three years ago when our founders were sitting around drinking beer and flying their drones, and they decided to do Fight Club. So they started crashing their drones together to try to kill each other, and they realized that all the drones were crappy, and they all broke. So they decided to build a better drone. So what you have here is a mil spec, uh, military spec um, uh, grade. It's a, it's a special sauce in the actual material. And you can flex this, you can smash this onto an investor, potential investor's head, and he won't, I mean, the drone won't break. And um, so we thought, we launched, that we're selling the airframes now, we've got tons of traction with this, did a Kickstarter campaign, doubled our goal in a month, um, and then we had to fulfill Kickstarter, but that's behind us now. Um, but we, uh, we've got tons of traction with it, and we're really excited. Right now, we're only selling the airframe. What you see, obviously, here is a complete drone. We've sold a few complete drones, but in March, we'll be selling this drone, <laughs> also as a hat, with, uh, with a complete ready-to-fly airframe out of the box. Um, we're we're going to be on television uh, in a couple of months. We just did some shoots yesterday. and. We've also done uh, dozens of these Fight Club events at the Makers Fair and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And what that's translated into is an impressive online community. We have 30,000 followers, over wow. 6 million uh, uh, video views. Um, there's, uh, we've shot that with a shotgun. There's a video of that up there. And <laughs> that drone that was shot with a shotgun kept flying. One of the rotors got bent. And um, I don't think you could, but anyway. Um, and that's still flying today. And these things you get in with baseball bats. We've run over them with cars. It's impressive. Um, so we're going to, uh, the, the, what's really most impressive about this is that community. We've been able to create an online community where people are sharing their videos. They're uploading their videos of what they're doing, cool stuff with drones. So what we're, what we're doing is we're looking to raise funds to build out, to scale the company, and to uh, build our community, our online community. And with that online community, we'll continue to sell. I forgot to mention, we've sold about 80 grand worth of these uh, um, uh, airframes, just the airframes, um, and then we retail them for $150 each. We're setting up our sales channels right now as well. So seeking the, uh, the funding to scale the company and also to build out the community. Um, and not only to sell our products, but to sell all drone-related products. So really, you know, this is a, a marketing force that we can make out of it.